Service return, why is the ball going long? Usually that's, again, because the racket face is open. So what you need to concentrate on is making sure that you, you change your grips quickly and have the face closed again on that on low point of the backswing. So let's say you're standing with a forehand grip and you've got the face closed. If you turn quick, the face is still closed down and through. But now if you have to go to a backhand, both hands turn in. Turn this hand in, your left hand turns in, and your hitting hand turns in. Now I've got my back hand, I'm turning this way and I'm closed here. So you've got to turn the grips quickly. Again, you need that steady forearm because again, if you're trying to roll over, if you're not on time, the racket's like this, it goes long and then you're rolling. So keep the forearm steady, make sure that palm is down at the low point of the backswing. If the backhand is going long, also it could be you're raising your elbow. When you go to hit a backhand, if the elbow raises, the racket face opens up. So keep that hitting elbow down, keep the face closed and then go. So I'm going to work on changing my grips quickly now on the return. Here we go. Do a little practice. So I'm thinking here, I'm just waiting, I'm thinking forehand or backhand, it's uh, forehand. Okay. I'm waiting here, forehand, backhand, it's forehand. Okay. I've got to change that grip quick. It's a backhand. Okay, forehand or backhand? The forehand. Oh, there, there, I hit one there. Forehand or backhand? Backhand. Okay. So I'm, tr I'm concentrating on changing the grips quickly. That's the key. Change those grips. Keep the face closed. Okay, that should prevent the ball from going long. Change the grips. Make sure the face is slightly closed or hooded at the low point of the backswing.